So we're going to, I'm going to make colloidal silver. I'm going to take four roach clips, strip the ends. I cut them and then I'm going to strip them. So we have four roach clips. Two are going to attach to the silver bars, the 99.99% silver bars that will go into the water, the distilled water, because you want it uh, like zero ppm, which is distilled water. It's also neutral, seven uh, pH. And the other two ends are going to go to the batteries. We're going to use three nine volt batteries, and I'll show you how I uh, attach them all together. But first of all, we are cutting and we are splicing the wires together. I put the red with red ends together, and now we're doing black with black ends together. So that's what we're doing right now. So take these two together. I'm going to tie them or just twist them together like this. They're really, really fine, almost like hair fine. So, you know, make them really good. Okay, that's good. That's good. I am not an electrician. I am an engineer. I'm a licensed dermologist, which means I can do tattoos, permanent makeup. I'm a licensed esthetician. I'm actually a minister, licensed minister. I am a jack of all trades. And yes, I was a quality engineer in the automotive industry for a long time. And a uh, certified massage therapist, used to be, don't like to anymore, hurt my thumbs too much. I am a, uh, have a PhD in alternative medicine, holistic medicine. So right now we're going to take electric, electrical tape and we're gonna tape that together. Safety first. Okay. And really what, the only thing, what engineers are good at, it's troubleshooting. You just figure out how to do something. That's what makes an engineer an engineer. Okay. And their expertise, you know. Mine was in quality. I used to um, do a lot of statistics and have to run the, the numbers to make sure and verify you know, the quality was was good before you sent out any products that were out of specification, blah, blah, blah. I used to be a black belt in SPC. Okay, so you know, here we go. Now we got the wires are all connected. So we got the two together. So we have the four roach clips, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how we attach the uh, batteries. Right okay, so we're going to attach the three 9 volt batteries. You basically need, you want 24 volts or higher. I, I've seen some people use like 36. It probably just takes less time to uh, get the PPMs in the water that you need. Because you want to go between like, between 10 and 30 PPMs of silver, in your nano silver in your water. There's still more to learn. I'm just giving you like the basics and um, so here's how you, you attach your batteries, okay? So see these two little guys? That's where the two of the roach clips are gonna go. You put a red and a black on one, and then you need a jar. It has to be a glass jar, plastic lid, and we're gonna you know, just make some holes in here so that we can dangle the, uh, the roach clips can attach to the silver and touch the water. They need to be like halfway in the water. So I'll, so I'll show you that too. And for cleanliness purposes, I'm gonna take um, you know, some alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna wipe out the jar before I fill it up with uh, distilled water. You wanna use distilled water because it's, it's uh, perfectly neutral alkaline of seven, and it's got zero PPMs in it. It's basically the purest water. It's the closest pH to your blood. It's really only the water you should be drinking anyway. A lot of people like, Oh, alkaline water, alkaline water. Well, how alkaline is your water? I mean, too alkaline is not good for you. It'll turn uh, anything you drink into a GHB in your stomach. You can look that up, it's on Wikipedia. You wanna drink neutral water, which is seven. Not alkaline, not acidic, just like your blood. Just like where you want your body's pH to be. How's it going?
Good. All right, so I am sanitizing the jar. And like I said, we want a uh, plastic lid because it's not electrically conductive. And then we're going to fill up the jar with the distilled water. Make sure not to pour it on your batteries. Tippy tap. All right, got it. Okay, and there's the lid. Now, either I mean, I've seen some people use like wood, uh, big flat popsicle sticks. As long as it's not conductive, I just want to keep my water from any particles getting in it. So that's why you want a lid uh, with uh, the smallest slots possible. Again, make sure you sanitize everything before you uh, get going with the alcohol. All right, and then um, once I get, I'll show you, I'll get the silver bars, and then we'll hook up the silver bars to the batteries. And, you know, some people are using bubblers, you know, to, to stir the water. Um, I don't know why that's beneficial, but it does seem like it's beneficial because circulation seems to be um, a good thing in our bodies and, you know, in everything. Some people are, are adding... Uh, other solutions to keep the water. I don't know what kind of water they use, so maybe they have to use it to get their water to be more um, neutral uh, or conductive. So, but water's conductive anyway, so I'm not quite sure um, the benefit of that, if it makes a difference. Because really, the end result is you want a low nanoparticle so it's easier um, for your body to absorb, smaller particle, the better, and you want about between 10 and 30 ppm uh, for your water. So you really want to get um, a parts per million ppm meter. I don't have one. I have a pH meter, but I don't have a ppm meter. So, um, but I'm going to let this run probably like three hours. And you want to clean your silver um, once it's going, you know, like every, they, some say every five minutes because it does kind of get kind of like dirty from the electricity going through it. Um, but I'm going to kind of, this is my first time doing this. So uh, we're going to learn together, okay? Um, all right, so let me get this prepared with the silver bars, and I'll show you how to connect it and get it going, and then I'll show you when it's all done, okay? Okay, so I've got the 99.99, this actually 99.999% pure silver, and uh, I've got the red attached to the bar. Hopefully it will stay, and I'm going to attach... And I, I got this plastic lid, so I don't have to run my white plastic lid. And I'm just gonna overlay it over the jar here. And then we're gonna attach this one to the other one. There we go. Okay, now I just gotta figure out how far. So we've got them dangling, right? We're gonna put this over the jar. Let me scoot this over here. I got a bump in the jar here. Now we're dangling. Looks like one is further in than the other. Let's see how far in they are. They look pretty good. So I'm going to take some tape. Give me some electrical tape and tape it so that it holds it properly. Bear with me. I'm learning this as I go here. Right. I know the mechanics of it, just haven't done it. So tape that. I'm taping this back here so you so it'll hold the wires. Okay. That looks good. All right. 
Now, here's the magic. Let's see how this does. Okay. And it doesn't really matter because both bars are the same. So we're gonna take our batteries. Now we're going to hook up one side and the other. So they're hooked up. All right, we got see anything going on here. All right, we'll check back in a little bit and see if we can see discoloration in the water. Okay, so we've had it connected, the uh, colloidal silver water going on for about 10, 15 minutes now. And I just want to show you that it, it's working. See the, the lines here? It's gone all the way down from up here. Let's see if you can see it from this angle better. It looks like clouds trickling down into the water from the bars. You can see the bars hanging down from the top there. So that is so cool. Wow. I'm so excited. My first bat. So we're gonna let this go for about three hours. I might have to clean the um, the silver bars, and they if they if they start looking tarnished, you want to kind of wipe them off with your um, uh, rubbing alcohol in your cotton swab. But yeah, there you go. See, you've got it. Sorry for the dirty glass, but you can see the the legs of the um, silver going down into the water. Let's see if I can get a better angle on the camera. I can see it easy from here. It's like pretty awesome. And that's really one of the ways that you can tell otherwise to the naked eye if you don't have like a flashlight, you know, like one of the these high powered flashlights, you can't really see it, but that's why you also want to get a, um, a PPM uh, measure. That way you can know when um, you've got the right amount. And like I said, um, anywhere from 10 to 30 PPMs uh, in your water, that's, that's what you want. And the, the bio um, active, the higher the nano, which has to do with the, the volts that you use, like we're using uh, I think this is 27, three times nine is 27. <laughs> so that would be 27 volts in, in the water, the gallon of water. So, you know, think about how much you've saved. I mean, I know I was buying 10 ppm, the, the bioactive nanoparticle um, colloidal silver at a whole paycheck, I mean, Whole Foods. <laughs> and it was like $36 for uh, 16 ounces or something like that. So this is definitely gonna last a really long time and that looks amazing. See, you can see the, ah, there you go, it's a better angle. But there you go. And then you'll have your water and it should last you a really long time. I put it in my cat's water. I mean, you know it's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, it's um, um, antioxidant so it helps the free radicals it's good for skin care it's good um, intrinsically extrinsically um, you can use it as eye drops it's great it's, it's cured like my cat's eyes infections my daughter's cat had an eye infection it helps allergies so there's really um, I put it in my nebulizer if I have any like lung infections or any coughing colds flu anything it's great so you, you really want to keep this on hand it's uh, one of the um, most incredible, cheapest health benefit things you can have in your household. And for that, peace out. Have a great weekend.